This is Stephen K4ATZ. We're going to go over the battery charger option in the Elecraft KX3. It is called the KXBC3. That's Kilowatt X ray Baker Charlie 3. That's the option. That allows you to charge your batteries and it also comes with a clock option. Now, you would think that as soon as you hook up your DC supply, it would automatically charge the batteries, but that's not the case. In fact, you do have to go through a little bit to um, charge them, and you have a lot of nice options too. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the menu, which is the display, hold it down, and then most of the functions are fairly alphabetical so you're gonna go to something that says well let's see where it is uh, do, 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 do. okay it says battery charge and most of the time it's gonna come up bat charge off that's gonna be your first that's what you're gonna see but what you're going to do is pick by your main VFO how many hours you'd like to choose to charge your batteries. It is always better to do the longest to preserve the life of your batteries. However, it's not that big a deal if you want to do or you don't have enough time. Um, it does have as short as 4 hours and as long as 16 with in between as you see in between intervals so let's say you're setting it for 16 hours you set it for 16 hours and then you can go out of the memory mode and now you have these chargers set now if you want to check out your charger go back into the memory by holding the display button down and you'll see T equals and that's the time left in your charge and at the bottom it says battery charge which means that you're in the charge function the charge mode this will continue for 16 hours you do not have to quote keep your radio on so if you turn it off which everybody knows this strange way and the prevent it from accidentally going off then what happens is the radio is off but the charger stays on you must keep your supply your DC supply on because if you turn it off there's nothing to charge so make sure that you keep your DC supply on now if you do not want to keep your light on which I don't and turn it back on if you want to turn your light off then of course just like if you were using your batteries you can go back into the functions and when you get to the backlight function it says backlight on you just turn it off and then your light is off okay so well let's see it's off we'll go back into the charge mode so you can see so now when you turn your radio off the lights off I just don't see the purpose of leaving your light on um, I mean, everything eventually will wear out and you keep that on 16 hours or 8 hours however long you choose to charge just seems useless but the charge function will still be on so once it goes off it will automatically turn the display off and it will go back into the mode of charge off that we showed you in the beginning so the mode of your display here will automatically go to off so that's how you set the charge function of your Elecraft KX3 and at the end of that time your batteries should be fully charged also one note it is always better to have the same battery and the 
uh, Elecraft does recommend that they're minimum 2,000 milliamps each. I would also recommend that you get a low discharge battery. Um, they're a little bit more money. I think they're called uh, LSD uh, battery. And that way when they're stored or when they're in there, they maintain their charge a lot longer. They discharge a lot slower. So a typical one may discharge 50% after a month, whereas these are like 5%. So spend a little bit of extra money, get the low discharge, minimum 2,000 milliamps, nickel metal hydride is what this charger works with. Nickel metal hydride, minimum 2,000 milliamps, low discharge. You can find them from, on everywhere from the battery uh, sites to eBay. Um, there are quite a few companies that, that make those batteries. 73's from K4ATZ.